Doyle? Doyle, are you here? Hey, Eric. Oh, thank God. Are any of... No. Okay. Good. Let me know if any of those damn EF4s are coming up behind me. You mean the little Joes? Why? Yeah, the little Joes. Dude, they're weirding me out. Uh, how? Is it because they squibble? Better not be. No, no, it's not that. So, one of them heard me talking about something, and then another one asked me about it. Uh... So? Like, five seconds later, the first one couldn't have told the second one. There's no way! Eric... They won't need to. Wait, what? Why not? Do you not know how the f tricks work? Uh, of course I do. They get their power from the pantographs. But they're still all separate engines. Aren't they? Well, yeah. Then how did he know? Because they're connected to the same power grid. The Eatrix all serve this kind of hive mind. Like if one of them knows something, those can access that information. Really? Yeah. That's... that's weird. But they all act different? They're still different engines, different people, but just like one database or something. Are you guys just figuring this out? How long have you been here? I knew. How? Maybe he, I don't know, asked them about it? <laughs> Looks like you were the only one in the dark. I, okay, but, gah, what else have I missed for the past several months? Maybe Katie's boyfriend. My what now? What's his name? Came right here with Harry the other day. Super drunk. Oh yeah, I remember that. He's a funny guy. D do you mean Cole? The F unit? Nope, didn't miss this one. You two had a very merry Christmas. He's not my boyfriend, though. Yes, he is. Whether you admit it or not, he is. But... I could have sworn... Are you serious? Wait, I've got just the thing to check. Hey, Katie, he's the orange one, right? He's gold. Yup. Knew it. Yeah, he's your boyfriend. No, he isn't. He hasn't even asked me out yet. You do it then. But it's not right. Who cares? Okay, okay. I don't mean... Uh, sorry. I need a lozenge or something. I don't mean to interrupt your little chat session. Your little peer press session here, though. But A, we got a train to run. And B, well, okay. Let me tell you how I can tell that none of yous have ever had a girlfriend before. Because this is not how you run things, okay? The first thing I learned when I got married is that there's two ways of arguing with a woman, and neither of them work anyway, so just shut up and let Cole come to her. Trust me, I, I know he will. He, uh, he craves the suffering. I hate you. No, you don't. Now, Eric, clear the turntable and let us move. Okay, okay. I can't believe I'm letting you do this. Listen, I don't want to be here either, okay? It's not my fault that Seattle had a rainstorm flood the concourse. There's apparently enough standing water in that station to kill traction motors. They still should have sent you. I don't want to drown! Whatever. So, either of you see anything exciting lately? I almost did a car today. Yikes. Where? At the west end of the yard there. They still don't have the gates up. Well, that's dangerous. You're telling us you don't have to run through there. Cole, you haven't been through there lately either. Ever since we ran off to Douglas, you've been running east. Yeah, and they've been sending me the long way. You know how many hours that adds to the trip? No. Like, too many. They're sending you through the gorge? Yeah. You realize that's so you avoid the 3%, right? I see the trains are pulling. You'd never make it over the summit. Are you saying I'm not strong enough? To do that, yes. We you know you're not strong enough. You can't even ask Katie out, for goodness sake. What? Oh, please. We can all see what's going on between you two. Just say it. Dan. No, no, no. Let him go. This is entertainment right here. Are you just gonna let him pick on Cole like that? As long as I can get a cheap laugh out of it. You disgust me. Right back at you, sister. 
Why I oughta? Girls, calm down! Dan, I was talking to you. You were included in that. Ooh. Ooh! I can't believe you're doing this to me. I can't believe you're such a wimp! Dan, shut up now or I'm not giving you a stall. And it's not going to be good weather tonight. Fight, fight, fight! Kiss, kiss. That goes for you two as well. Sam, Sam. Here or Providence. Okay. Cole was up late that night. Schedule said he was due for a maintenance checkup, and an early run the following morning meant that he wasn't going to get much rest. It was about 30 minutes past midnight when he heard her. Huh? I can't believe they're keeping me up this late. With a sore throat, no less. I can't believe we're hauling passengers. Yeah, normally the freight doesn't get upset at you. Dan's passengers. Well, it's not his fault the station flooded. And now I'm gonna have to run into the wee hours of the morning just to wade into Seattle Union Station. You've gotta learn to swim sometime. Do I? Actually, if, <coughs> if you'll excuse me a minute, I'm gonna go back to the cafe car to get some more coffee. And under the law center, too. At this rate, they're gonna run out soon. Excuse me. I just... Is it okay if I... Is that cool? Where are you? <sighs> Shh. Don't... Ah, hot. Don't worry, I'm right here. Just let me... Okay. Let me not spill for once tonight. Hold my coffee. I can't hold your coffee. I know, I know. Just try and maybe I'll give you some. <laughs> what makes you think I'd want some? Okay, listen. I firmly believe that every living thing has an innate desire to consume caffeine to survive. And? And you're close enough, so you sure you don't want any? I do. Cole? Hey, hey, look who it is. If it isn't the... <coughs> uh, whatever you are. Orange, wait, no. No, 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 sorry, no. Gold! Yeah, that's you. That's me. Don't take this the wrong way, but what the hell are you doing out here? Well, I mean, I live here. It's late, I know, but I heard you and, well, I, yeah, I, uh... Spit it out. I wanted to say hi. Well, that was anticlimactic. Anything else? You just got to ruin everything, huh? Well, you weren't gonna say anything, were you? You said he was supposed to make the first move. He did! First move? What? No, not like that. Well, you see, it's like chess. Um... Oh boy, here he goes. It's like a dance, you know? You make a move, she counters. You move your little horsey in the... in the L shape as... I don't know, is, is that... I can never remember how the horsey goes. Kurt! What? Have you ever actually played chess? Well, I know you haven't. Wow, I'm lost. Okay, fine, it's your turn then. You're so smart, you can do it. What? But... Kurt, not the time. Okay, I can't wait any longer. Cole, Katie's pining for you. Pining? He means... He means... I think I know what he means. Are you, uh... Do you... Do I what? Well, I mean... I do, if that's what you're asking. Is it what I'm asking? Now I'm confused. What are you asking? Well, I... Okay, Cole, this is it. You're not a wimp. Just ask her. Katie... I was wondering if... Wondering if... Wondering what? Oh my god, you two. I can't. I, I can't. I really can't just sit here and listen to this. I'm losing brain cells by the minute. Are you really head over wheels for this tangerine? He can't even get his... His... I don't know, his train pot out of his mouth. What? Ah, ah, no! Oh! Oh, god, Katie, this is golden, Katie, you... Oh! Oh, no! 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 You made me spill all of my coffee! Oh! Oh! That... That is what the third layer of hell must feel like. Let me tell you, I will be right back, and then we are leaving, because we are already behind schedule. <coughs> See, we can afford to do this kind of thing on freight service, but now... Oh, no! We're five minutes late off the clock, and the complaints are gonna start come rolling in. Not to mention the engineer's got a giant brown stain down his nose. I don't know, everything. Well, um... I just... I can't believe he... That son of a gun, I just... 
I just can't even right now. Whoa, whoa. Are you okay? I... <sighs> no, Cole. I'm not. Is... Is there anything I can do? I mean, is this not a good time? No, no. Don't leave. I just... <sighs> I'm sorry, Cole. Sorry for... I'm sorry for Kurt. He shouldn't have said that. I mean, betraying my innermost... Uh, it's no big deal. I hear worse from Nick. I just... I really like you, Cole. I like you too, Kate. No, I really like you. Like... like-like? Yeah. Uh, do you? Katie, would you like to hang out sometime? I'd love to. Awesome! What should we do? Should we go someplace? Wait, I know! I've got to take you out to this place. What place? Is it like a date? Well, I mean, if you want it to be, sure, sort of, yes. That sounds wonderful. I've got somewhere to be, you know, but I'll be back in Troy tomorrow. What a coincidence. So will I. You live here. So you know where to find me. I definitely will. What, um, should we do? We could play chess. <laughs> I missed you. Did you miss me? No. Too bad, we gotta move. And don't use spring nothing on me this time. We got time to make up. And Cole? You did good. I, uh, thanks. How much were you there for? I'm not gonna say because Katie would spill my coffee again. Wow. Hey, listen. I'm keeping an eye on you. And considering I'm gonna have to be there for your date, I might as well figure out when and where. <sighs> That's true. Okay, Cole. I'll see you soon. You'll see both of us soon. Uh, okay. Cool. See you around. See you here. Why are you doing that? Doing what? Shifting. Back and forth like that. Like you're pacing. I'm not pacing. Yes, you are. Just need to figure out why. You're not figuring out why. Wow. I haven't seen you this upset since you dumped that tanker in Davenport. You weren't even there for that. Yeah, but I found out about it. And I'm gonna find out about this. Because Detective Nick is on the case. Nick, quit trying to be Bell. He's like three times smarter than you, at least. And also, he's actually doing his work right now. Oh yeah? Where is he? I'm pretty sure he's on a case. Like I said, doing his work. And that's not the question you should be asking. What is... Wait, no. I know this. What... What should I be doing? Huh. You're smarter than I give you credit for. When Sally gets back, there's a handful of cars that need to be taken down to Stallion. Apparently, the train you took this morning didn't have everything. Uh... Oops. No, for once it's not your fault. The steel mill had some... trouble. I didn't get all the details. So... When Sally comes back... Track 6, West String. It's already got a caboose on it. Cool, thanks. Uh, you're... you're welcome. I like the enthusiasm. Hey, no problem. But we're getting too far from the subject. Wait, what subject? Cole's... hiding something. Cole? It's nothing. You're pacing. No, I'm not. Yes, you are, and I know why. Uh-oh. But before I tell any of you, I'm going to write up a non-disclosure agreement so you don't all go blabbing. Non-disclosure agreement? Blabbing? Yes, because it's deserving of a movie or something, and I don't need you guys cutting in on my profits. Call it Cosa Blanca, featuring our one and only Golden Diesel right here and a certain F.E.F. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, no. Wait, featuring? Not starring? Heck no, starring me. Of course. But it's the love story which I overheard last night. Do tell. It's a dark tragedy, set amidst the backdrop of an urban upheaval. Cut the chat, out with it. All right, all right, jeez. Stifle my art, then. Ugh, barf. Fine, then. Everyone's a critic. Word on the street is, Cole was caught macking on Katie last night on the Uptown Branch. Uptown Branch? They tore that up three years ago. Oh, really? Well... Huh. Your story's wrong. 
I guess the street was wrong. What? You said the word was on the street. Well, I take back what I said a minute ago. Now get your train and scram. Hey, 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 no, I was not macking. You were just talking. Talking. Talking, macking, same difference, really. With the amount of engines I've heard of you macking on, I shouldn't be surprised you don't know the difference. Uh, why, I never. Huh. I'd like to see that. That's because you're a creepy little troll. Now then, Bright, Davenport, Chop Chop. Buh. Now, damn it. Ah, fine, fine. Don't kill me. Shake a break, or I may have to take you up on that. So, when's the wedding? Uh, later to- wait, what? Sally, lay off the port. Cole and Katie, sitting in a tree. C-O-U-P-L-I-N-G. Shut up, that doesn't even work. <laughs> fine, fine, I'll leave you to it. I need to see a guy about some film equipment. She's up to something. I don't like when she thinks. She's far too devious for that to be safe. Why does she gotta pick on people all the time? Floating down in Seattle had only worsened with the previous night's rainstorm. Dan had left Troy about when Cole did in the early morning, but ended up being shunted into the yard while Katie was again prepped to take the train. Johnson was held in Douglas in order to keep the Hawks separate, and it was looking like we were going to have to cancel all of that day's service regarding Seattle. But right in the 11th hour, they managed to get the concourse cleared and Dan was given the green light. Katie got sent back to Troy a few hours later with a miscellaneous goods truck. I guess she's never going to get here. I can't believe this. We've made him wait? Oh, well, don't blame me. <coughs> it ain't my fault that Seattle Control couldn't make up their freaking mind about who to put on the train. I'm not blaming you. But you're right. We're late for your date, and it's pissing me off. Wait, it is? What, you think I wouldn't? Like I like being late? I already told you my feelings on the subject. I heard your conversation, and now don't you start up that valve again. And I'm proud of you two. Frankly, I think this is a big step towards you not being so mopey all the time. I am not mopey. The Nile ain't just a river in Egypt, Katie. Wow, shut up. Case in point. Listen, I'll be with you every step of the way. And before you object, first of all, you know you need one of us here in the cab at least. And second of all, I promise I'll shut up for the two of you. Thank you. Katie? Cole! Oh my god, you're here. I thought, I thought you'd I'd never, never make, make it. It. <laughs> <laughs> it is hecka late, though. I know. We could go watch the sunrise. Could we? I guess so. Not you. Yes, yes, absolutely. I know where to go. Follow me. This is going to be beautiful. Don't jump the gun on me. We're not there yet. Well, it's already worth it. This was a long time coming, huh? That's what everyone else has been saying. Uh, Katie. Not now. You should hear the stuff the other engines were saying to me. You should hear what they were saying to me. Unbelievable. <laughs> Don't tell me you just said yes to avoid the teasing. Katie. Oh, you think this is going to stop the teasing? Okay, maybe not. Well, not until the movie. Movie? Oh, you should have heard Sally. Apparently she... Katie. What? <laughs> that. Uh, oh. Uh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> Cole, I broke the track. I was trying to tell you the rail was too light. Oh. Oh. What's the matter, Cole? I got you stuck. Of course this is how my first date goes. Wait, no. I mean, that rail must have been bad. I'm not just too heavy for it? Heck no. You're perfect. Aw, thanks. Should I go get someone? Could Consuela get you out? She could, but I don't really have a problem with staying here, as long as you don't mind. Don't mind. I'd love to. No saying we can't watch the sunrise from here. That's true. Oh, for goodness sake, you two. They better pay me overtime for this. It ought to be a sick day. Eh, you know what? I'm gonna take a nap. Wake me up if you need cold or water or something that you can't handle yourself. Alright, good night, Kurt. So, Cole, what were you saying about a movie? Oh, yeah, so last night Sally was talking. <laughs> Did she really? <laughs> <laughs>